first kid is always your guinea pig and true in homeschool world as well now that my first one has graduated high school i've learned some things that i'm going to change the first thing that i'm going to change is my expectations because with my first i wasn't sure what what they she was really capable of and while i didn't have low expectations Looking back, I think I could have raised the expectations level of her. And I think it would have been absolutely fine. Because as I watched her, especially when I watched her, like, handle her dual enrollment classes, I realized that, like, she, the workload and the bar definitely could have been higher. And a lot of it was just, I just didn't know. I didn't know... I I didn't want to overburden her. I had definitely felt like I had expected too much too early. And so when she got older, then I was like, well, I don't know. Is my expectations too, again, too much too early? And so sometimes I definitely let her do not as good of work as she was capable of doing. So as Ben goes into high school I have a better sense of what what he was capable of and what what bar I can set for him how that looks practically I don't know exactly <laughs> but I'm I'm going to just try to keep that in mind again I don't know what it looks like practically so I'll report back to you in four years whether or not it worked <laughs> um the next thing that I will do differently is to expect more writing out of him more often, starting earlier. Now, I'll, I will also say straight up that Elizabeth, I've talked about this before, has language processing dis disorders. And so writing for her was a big struggle. But I think that for her, if I had required shorter short frequent writings that it would have helped her to, to develop the basic skills better like a stronger foundation so that junior senior year it would have been very natural to move into longer ranks like her junior and senior year we did some great courses and yeah, mostly with the great courses is where and I really noticed this was that I had her do a paragraph writing after every lecture and when we first started doing that it was a struggle for her to do it but by the end she was whipping those things out in no time and so I wish I really wish that I had done that started it earlier found ways to start it earlier so for Ben, who also has language difficulties, but different ones, of course, <laughs> um, I need to I need to figure that out for him sooner. The ability to quickly get your thoughts out of your brain onto your paper, even just a paragraph at a time, is something that I really I didn't do well with to begin or with my first and and it was then a struggle when in high school she had to produce these longer papers because even one paragraph could be a struggle to do it quickly and that's what I want to avoid with him so I'm going to be looking for those kind of ways that we can do even a paragraph at a time of some kind of writing and number three is more intentional about life skills. Now with Elizabeth, she naturally kind of helps around the house more. She was always in the kitchen with me more. That sort of thing. So there are things that she just picked up. But there are definitely ways that I think, oh, I didn't teach you that. And not that I learned it as a teenager, but... Yeah, I should have learned it, type of thing. Or I had to learn it the hard way as an adult. So I don't... I see that again. Things that I didn't do 
very well with her. So my goal with Ben is to think of eight, 10 life skills and put them on the calendar so that through the month of January or month of July, I have something on the calendar that I can be intentional about. So those are some things I'll be doing differently in high school. If you want to check out more of my high school videos, click on the place on your screen. I'll see you over there.